Good morning and welcome to the Long Island Matchmaker Show. I'm Lauren DeFranco here with Maureen Tara Nelson, Long Island's only executive level certified matchmaker in the business for 20 years. Good morning, Maureen. How was your Christmas? Yay, good morning. Lauren finally said it right after two years. <laughs> executive level certified matchmaker. Well, I have to clarify, but today I didn't. <laughs> But so happy to be here, and I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas and a great holiday, and Happy New Year's Day. Yes, Happy New 2022. We can only go up from here. (laughs) It is. I am so excited. Things are going to be so much better this year. There's so much positivity buzzing around me personally, and MTN matchmaking, and there's a lot of great things to look ahead to. And we're feeling very creative, and we're looking forward to fun, moving fun, fun. Yes. full steam ahead. Love is in the air. Um, I wanted to ask you, though, yes. let's talk about your Christmas. Did you do anything special? Yes. Actually, um, this year, for the first year, instead of hosting my entire large family at my house, it was just... Just my two children. Oh. And we never nice. did that before. So it was very nice and intimate and it was a chance for us to really enjoy just the three of us only. Mm-hmm. Reconnect on a different level. Totally right? different than every other Christmas. And you know, of course you love being with, you know, twenty people in your family, but it was very special this year. So did you do I'm that for blessed. any reason or you just decided to have the three of you? Yes, actually, um, my son Ryan is transitioning, and yeah. I have a daughter now. Okay. Yes, so we wanted to celebrate Ryan not only turning 25, mm-hmm. but the fact that Ryan is strong enough that she went to our family doctor six months prior mm-hmm. and discussed this, how she felt and that she always thought about this and it would pop out of her head because she was afraid Mm -hmm. of transitioning. Understandably. And, but she has grown so much from this very difficult decision that she made. I actually guessed it and asked her. So she told my son, Brendan first. So then it was just the two of us knowing and Ryan is just so brave. I'm so proud of her. She's so beautiful anyway. She, she really is. is. She's a model, by yes, the way. Yes, a professional model in Manhattan, and as well as our social media manager. And I just couldn't be more proud. And she's yeah. stunning. Stunning. So, so, well, I'm glad you had a nice holiday. Yes. How was yours? Well, it was um, different. I went to Florida to see my oh, mother and my yes. sister. And I had my two girls and uh, it right. was nice, but it was a lot of running around back and forth. My kids were like, we didn't do that much, but you really don't have, it wasn't really a vacation mm-hmm. and my mom hasn't been doing so well. So, mm-hmm. but it was nice and I'm not complaining. The weather was absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and I, I really need a dose of sunshine. I know. I need a vacation, a real vacation. Yes, me too. Do you know, I was going to take this week as a vacation. Oh, really? I was. But we just got so busy with work, I didn't get a chance. Well, this is the time to find love. I mean, we did spend some time. My mother watches, by the way, my mother watches the Hallmark Channel 24-7. <laughs> so I had to watch all these love stories. <laughs> Sappy love uh, stories. Sappy love stories. <laughs> Everything is Virgin River uh, reinvented. Or, you know, the girl goes to to some small town and she meets the man of her dreams instantly. Well, they don't get along at first, but you yes, know, you can see the writing on the wall or And he's a farmer, <laughs> so she gives up the hedge fund gorgeous guy making a million dollars for the guy who is the farmer and right. they live happily ever after. And they're both no. by the way, they're both beautiful. beautiful. How does that happen? And of course, I'm not saying anything is wrong with a farmer, obviously, but No, I, you know. I would I wouldn't kick a farmer out of bed. No, of course not. <laughs> And I have to tell you, whether you're white collar or blue collar, guys, women love both. Because oh, I hear absolutely. it. Absolutely, I hear absolutely. it all the time. There so. is no 
no doubt in my mind that women love a blue collar guy. Yes. <laughs> I actually really thought about what my clients need to do for the new year. And I really came up with the biggest obstacle that single people do they self-sabotage themselves mm -hmm. because they are looking to find the perfect person based upon looks. And I, I just have to bring this up right away because it's on my mind. <laughs> Why? And because <laughs> you're looking at me? <laughs> yes, because Lauren is the ultimate. Because of Lauren, I am going to have, we are going to have the best boot camp program <laughs> coming sometime in February. Don't just go for looks. Yes, because... It doesn't there, work. There are so many reasons. But if you're single and you're looking for someone, you really should have only five prerequisites of what you need in your partner. Anything else is icing on the cake. And if one of your five must-haves is either that she has to be beautiful or he has to be handsome, then you better be perfect yourself. Because uh -huh. if you're not perfect, you're not going to find that because subconsciously, as beautiful or as handsome as a person might be, you will be looking for more, and you won't see all the great things about that person. Mm -hmm. So just always remember that, that beauty does absolutely come from within. And what, are the, what is that saying? Beauty, beauty is, is only skin, oh, skin, skin deep, deep or beauty, beauty is, is in, in the, the eye of the, the beholder. Right. I love Lauren's nails. I, I have <laughs> my Christmas sparkles on still. And well, I, I saw your Christmas sparkles, <laughs> so I had to get my jewel sparkles. They're absolutely stunning. I love them. Can't stop looking at them. <laughs> but, well, you too can have them. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are single out there, try for this New Year's resolution to find someone that just has five of the things that you're looking for without looks, mm -hmm. and see what happens by giving them a chance. Give them at least three dates and see if you're compatible. You will be surprised that you will eventually start to feel chemistry. I see it happen with all my clients that take my advice. It's happened to me personally. I can probably, I can guarantee that it's happened to all of us at one point in our lives, Probably when we were much younger and we didn't have so much knowledge about dating and trying to date the right person. You know, when we were in our 20s and we were just going out and having fun, we might have met someone that we became friends with, had no chemistry with that person, but we were just friends with someone from the opposite sex. And then all of a sudden, one day, you looked at that person differently. Yeah. And you thought, oh. I like him. He is. He's <laughs> handsome. And your friends are like, he's not handsome at all. But to you, he was, became handsome because you were compatible. So right. I, we're I just would... screwing that up ourselves now. So just know that. Don't be your own worst enemy. I've been, you know, looking at a lot of ca cases. Um, that sounds very <laughs> analytical. Yeah. But, you know, Chelsea Handler ended up being involved with Joe Coy, I think his name is, and he was a comedian that was on her show when she, like, 10 years ago, Chelsea Late Night, and he was one of the comedians, and he had a crush on her, and apparently Aww. she never looked at him that way. Yep. But he kept, yeah. you know, con coming in contact with her, and he always had a crush on her, and she said one day she just looked at yeah. him and looked at him totally differently, and she was like, that's my guy. So it can happen. It does. You it just does have to take away your preconceived notions mm -hmm. and your superficiality. That's <laughs> because exactly what people are doing and everyone practically is doing it and mm -hmm. that is going to hinder your success you mean by finding. nature we just yes, look at by looks nature, and we self-sabotage ourselves without even realizing it we will go out on a date and the person in front of us might have all five of our prerequisites but we're nervous and there's so many things to think about before, say, getting married, that we start looking at that person and thinking of all those things, which is way too soon, so don't ever do it. And we will think of something that, say, is number 20 on the list of must-haves. Mm -hmm. He or she doesn't have that 
then we start focusing on the things that they don't have, whereas they have your five must-haves. So if we can just retrain our brains to think of what are the five most important things to us, and when we meet someone, if they have those five things, just embrace those, and when things pop in your head, which they will, oh, he doesn't have this, he doesn't have that, Get it out of your head Mm -hmm. and just see how it goes for a month. Give that person a month of your time. Develop a friendship based upon those five most important criteria. And I can guarantee you, you will at least have a friend for life with this person, Mm -hmm. which will be invaluable because I have a lot of guy friends that are absolutely invaluable to me. Or it could be the situation like we've all had when we were young that all of a sudden one day we'd look over at that person and think, oh my God, this guy, I'm thinking of my own situation in my Mm -hmm. 20s, this guy working at Herman's, he's (laughs) 20 years older than me, starting to lose his hair, not attractive at all when I first (laughs) met him. None of my friends thought he was attractive. Now, again, I was in my 20s. I was in my prime. I was 110 pounds. And you were absolutely gorgeous. one day, I just... Couldn't wait to go to work to see this guy. Was he a lot older than you? Yeah, 20 years. Oh, he was 20 years older than you. And we were just friends at work. And then one day, I just thought, I can't wait to go to work. I can't wait to see him. Hmm. Rob Cardinelli. (laughs) Yep. So, oh my God. It's funny how you remember these things. Oh my God, he's probably in his 70s (laughs) now. I had this guy in college who was relentless and. I was like, ew, at first. And then he just kept pursuing me and pursuing me. And one day I did the same thing. I was looking at him completely differently. And I was like, hmm, he looks pretty good. (laughs) But it's weird how that transition happens in your mind. It will happen. Because it's an emotional connection. It will happen. But what we're doing is we're preventing it from happening by looking for things wrong. Setting up barriers, and setting up walls. Self-sabotaging ourselves. So and I'm big on that. Big Lauren on the does it all the time. <laughs> but thanks to Lauren, everybody, we will be having a boot camp on how to prevent that from happening. We're going to retrain your brain. Maureen's going to yes. retrain your ba- brain. On how to look positively on yourself, number one, because you have to love yourself first. You have to stop being so hard on yourself. And then also you have to come up with those five must-haves of the person. And then you also have to stop being unrealistic. I'm going to give you an example, which I found very interesting, which prompted all of this today, by the way. Mm. In a singles group, there was a guy who, just in general terms, Lauren, you would never think this guy is attractive, okay? And I'm gonna, I always okay. use, I always use Lauren as an example <laughs> of whatever the of what situation. what not to do. <laughs> of always what not to do as a single Lauren, person. You definitely wouldn't like this. Guy. However, the day that she takes my advice, she will be successful, and she knows that. But well, just, I, we'll get to not that because that's yet. part of my New Year's yeah, resolution. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, so now here is this hot girl that posts her picture on this singles group. They call that thirst trapping. (laughs) (laughs) So now a lot of guys are saying nice things. Wonderful. This particular guy that Lauren would never (laughs) go out with in a million years and Lauren would not think is attractive, literally, or I should say, literally, Brian loves when Mm -hmm. I do that on our Friday Facebook Lives, he writes for the first time on this site, someone captured my eye. Now, number one guy, you just insulted every other girl in this group, so they're all going to hate you. Mm-hmm. So he now has no chance of ever meeting the girls that would have been good for him. Because he and, singled out one person. And because he's is basically saying this one girl caught his eye, so no one else did. And this girl's beautiful. She's a 10. <laughs> okay, you're not getting her. You're not getting her. So it's like unless you stupidity. somehow develop a friendship, but and she likes your personality. But again, that's where it comes. It, that's why it's so important to only put out the positive energy because the guy's biggest mistake was he started off 
with negativity. So you have to realize what he did Mm -hmm. was a negative thought of saying that that girl only caught his eye. Because it already rules out Everyone else. Everyone else. And he's basing it only because she's beautiful. Which a lot of men are visual, and they yes. do do that, but they shouldn't do it so right. publicly. Yes, exactly. And so that's not a nice thing to do, Mm-mm, because yeah. he just hurt the feelings of every other girl who, say, is average looking. Mm-hmm. And quite frankly, I could tell you, he's below average looking, not to be mean, but just in general terms. Uh-huh. So so he's not going to get a girl like that anyway. Never. Okay. Unless, unless he's extremely wealthy. I don't know. Well, he unless he's very, very positive, but he's not. <laughs> so just remember how important positivity is. Everything in my life is positivity, no matter what it is. Like with my kids, for example. Lauren, you know I've always said my life, I've only wanted to be a great mother and a great matchmaker. Mm-hmm. So with my kids, I know if, no matter what, I would stand behind them even if they did the worst thing in the whole wide world, the right. worst, I would stand behind my child. Likewise. So that's why when my son came to me and, you know, came home for Thanksgiving and I knew something was wrong and I said, Ryan, it, you know, do you want to be a girl? Uh-huh. And he said, oh, my God. Yes. How did you know? You know, mother's instinct. Right. But for me as a mother, I want my kids to be happy and healthy. That's it. Mm. Anything else, I love them unconditionally. And I have to say, I've gotten such beautiful support from our family and our friends. So Mm -hmm. thank you, all of you, for the loving support that you're all giving my, what was my son and is now my daughter. Mm -hmm. So thank you all for the love. And she will need a lot of support. Yep, she will. And she's very, very brave to do this. So I don't know how many people would be brave enough to do this or, you know, for years, because she's 25 now and, you know, she said she was gay, I guess, maybe five years ago, Mm -hmm. I think. And now she's not gay, by the way, because she's transitioning (laughs) into guys. So she's not gay anymore. But the thing is, any time that that would pop into her head, she would say, oh, God, I can't do that. You know, because it would be way too scary. Right. Well, it's a it's a big undertaking. Yeah. So yep. naturally. But she did it. And I'm so happy our family doctor that I love as well helped her through this because this all began six months ago before I just guessed. Mm-hmm. So but thank you, everyone. That's the whole point of this. Okay. So, and and by the way, Ryan does provide us with some questions. Oh, yes. And our first question from Ryan is... Well, Ryan accumulates them from the questions that people write in. So please keep emailing them in to Maureen at mtnmatchmaking.com because we answer them on this radio show on Sundays Mm. on KJOY 98.3 which is called the Long Island Matchmaker. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm so blessed to have Lauren here. She's Thank so much you. fun. And we so have the best time be ever. And also we read the questions on our Friday Facebook Live, which I do with my brother, Brian. But okay. Okay. So what I always talk about the holiday season because we have to get through as singles, and I'm speaking for myself as well, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and but then, you got through it. Yes. And then <laughs> we all got through it. <laughs> and, uh, and then Valentine's Day, which we haven't we yes. haven't gotten there yet. But what are some of the New Year's resolutions? How are we approaching 2022 looking for love? Mm-hmm. And, and what are we going to do differently? What are some of your New Year's resolutions? Well, mine personally, 2021 was difficult with having a back surgery that I was not too happy with. But luckily, I found a fabulous doctor now who I'm going to start physical therapy with and who is specializing in the issue that I have specifically with my back. So I'm very excited about that. 
And then I am also, instead of just in the past, how I would joke all the time, oh, yeah, I'm on a diet pill. Instead of just doing that, I am going to a diet doctor because I was in shape my whole entire life until I started basically having an office job, which is what matchmaking is. Right. And that just changed everything. I Uh went from being super active as a pharmaceutical rep, hitting 10 doctors a day to being in an office all day long. And as much as you try to be active and athletic and working out, this industry of matchmaking has always been a huge undertaking time-wise for me. Now, especially my own business for the past 17 years, I am still working till midnight. Mm -hmm. But my New Year's resolution is that I, I can't, do it for that much time anymore. I can't do it. So I have a great team behind me. I am going to start delegating many of the things that I do not have to control. Well, I think that's great. And I think it'll offer you time to to work on yourself and do the things that you want to do outside of matchmaking, Yes, which you don't take enough time for yourself. Which I am going to start to take. My own love advice. I'm so happy to hear that. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know why so many people are very, they all have the same reaction that you just said. Really? That you're very happy that I'm doing Well, I am because I know that you don't put yourself first, as many of us don't, because we're moms and we play, you know, different roles. But I know Maureen well because we've been friends for the last few years yep. and we do this radio show and I know yep. she doesn't take her own <laughs> dating advice. Oh, no. no, no, no. <laughs> so what does that mean, Maureen? Let's get deeper into this, you taking your own dating advice. Okay. Well, again, like I said, to always project positivity, love yourself, find five things that the person that you're seeking has to have and not look for anything else, and become friends with that person first, which if that person has your five must-haves, you absolutely can be friends with that person, and then just give that person a chance to see in about a month what happens, because nine times out of ten, if you do that, you will develop some sort of chemistry. Uh huh. Now, I never would take that advice, so... I am. And well, what I, do you? What are your typical things that you? What are the typical things that you do instead of doing that? Well, I had the easiest excuse. I'm working. Mm-hmm. I don't have time to go out with you. Thank you so much for the offer. You know, I would love to go out with you, but uh, yeah, I just can't. I'm working, so <laughs> I'm not going to be doing working till midnight mm-hmm. every night like I used to. Are you guilty of my? problem, which is being no, superficial. No, you are just way, way, <laughs> I'm way a too sick. <laughs> no, it's just that you you concentrate only on the looks, and that's what I want to get you off of, and I want to get everyone else off of, and look, including myself, mm-hmm. but I once said to one of my clients, and this was like 10 years ago, I said, I want you, and it, this idea just popped into my head that day. Uh Because I really wanted to help this girl. She was very attractive like you. And I said, the next person that asks you out, I don't care how unattractive he could be. I don't care. No matter what, as long as that person is safe to be with, say yes. Mm -hmm. And it happened to have been someone who's not attractive. The guy asked her out, and it was kind of a as funny... Luck, as luck would have <laughs> right? it. So the funny thing was she had to say yes. She took my advice. And what happened? And they are married now, and they wow. are happily married. And yes, when they walk in a room, people probably do think, wow, <laughs> he's gorgeous. And he is very wealthy, and he's not very attractive, but... He has the confidence. Mm -hmm. And when you have confidence, it does make you more attractive to people. And when you have confidence, you have charisma. And I always think that if someone has charisma, it does take 
a, you know, away from whether they're not attractive or have chiseled features or whatever. But right. if someone yes. could have charisma. I'm not as superficial as I say I am because I what? do care about intelligence. I care about humor. I do like someone with a nice voice. Okay. So those are three things. So what are right. your five things that you should be going into this new year? Okay. With? What are what I should and not yes. what I am. Yes. Okay. Because we're so, leaving 2021. We're leaving Lauren, that behind. in the dust, right. in the rear Lauren, view mirror. Lauren is going to start taking my advice. Okay, so first of all, I have to open myself up to meeting someone, Mm -hmm. which is a whole different thing. It is. But if I were to look for someone intelligent, kind, caring, is kind kind and caring the same thing? You can count that together. Uh, Well, you said sense of humor. Emotionally stable. (laughs) Okay. Funny. Funny. And And, and financially stable, you already have that because anyone who joins Maureen's program is financially stable. But Everyone at MTN Matchmaking is financially stable. But I would prefer not to have to take care of someone. So someone who um, enjoys physical activity. Okay. So being active. Yes. Okay. So that's great. You didn't bring up looks. So remember, no, I'm, I'm counting looks out. Yes. Do, no one use looks in your top five, and wait till you see the difference that this is going to cause. So, okay, now that we know that about Lauren, what are your actual New Year's resolutions? In terms of finding love? No, in terms of everything. Your all of your New Year's resolutions. Um. I'm going to try to be more uh, patient and understanding with my children who oh, are. Interesting. <laughs> feel like a counselor now, <laughs> which I feel like every day well, anyway. You know what? As mothers, we put up with a lot. Mm-hmm. But then again, I have to approach it differently. My reaction to them has to be different. So that's one thing. And be more self-aware. I think I have to be more self-aware. And I want to lose weight because I think during this time we've You all... are a little peanut. We all <laughs> no, have but... the pandemic 15. Which yes. The and I'm small, say... so 15 is a lot for me. Well, it really is, according to the news. <laughs> and in my case, the pandemic 30. It really is. That's we why say I'm... 15, though. That's why I'm going to this diet doctor, which I will have to take daily injections. Really? Yes. I'm kind of a little afraid of that, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. But anyway, um, so, okay. She's thin. Lauren is has a great figure. I don't think she needs to lose weight at all, but... Thank you very much. But it's it's part of, I'm going to eat better. I'm going to... So being healthy. Being more yes. healthy. And, and I think, great. and overall, I just want to have a more positive outlook on life yes. because I think over the last couple of years, and I think we're all guilty of this, we've all sort of looked at life differently because, you know, it it has to have an effect on you. The pandemic has had to have an effect on everybody's mental state. It's impossible not to. Well, my feeling on that is I have the ability to block out any negativity and to forcibly find something positive in Mm -hmm. everything negative. So I have found with the pandemic that singles want to find love more than ever now. And it's actually easier to find love now because everyone realizes that they don't want to die alone. Uh So if you're looking for love as one of your New Year's resolutions, just know it is going to be easier in 2022. So just don't make your own roadblocks. Right. Don't put those artificial roadblocks in front of you that don't have to be there because I do it. I say to myself, "Ah, I can't go online dating. It's horrible. It's terrible. The stories I hear every day are frightening. And it's true. There's a lot of catfishing out there. There's a lot of people who lie about what they do. So Maureen, if people want to really meet someone and they're really interested in being in a committed relationship, tell them where to go, what to do, because uh, we're getting close to final time. I like when everyone looks at my website, mtnmatchmaking.com. This way you can get to know me and my team better. And you can call us at 1-888-31-MATCH or 631-577-7940. Or 516-444-2861. It's a free consultation. You have nothing to lose. If you're looking for a committed relationship and you don't have a felony and you're a positive person, 
financially stable, then you've passed our screening process, and most likely we can help you. So, and you still have time before Valentine's Day to find the love of your of life. Of course, yeah. So give us a call. And get off the internet. And 2022 is a whole new year to change yes. everything, change your mindset. And fill it with love and happiness. And Happy New Year, everyone. Happy, happy new, new Year. Thanks for listening. See you next week. I'm Lauren DeFranco. Maureen Tara Nelson. Bye.